Okay, the 2009 Yamaha that we cleaned the saltwater corrosion out of is in the tank ready to be tested. And we started it up in the shop, but this is the first time it's had water to it since we've repaired the cooling system and cleaned all the saltwater damage out. Um, it's completely back together. Which if I don't say, you know, I want to gloat or anything, but that's not bad for no. us two. A few hours worth of work, both of us. Okay, start that sucker up. Wow. It's really quiet in the water. Okay, so uh, we, we've actually run it a couple of minutes already in this water, and we shut it off to start this video. But um, touch that exhaust, because that's where the, the problem was. Nice and cool. So that's what we're looking for, is a nice cool exhaust. Now we haven't run it hard yet for a, uh, to throw a light, but we're going to. Sorry about my video being all over the place. Okay, let's look at the dash real quick. Okay. If I don't see any water leaks, I mean there's a little bit of water left over. Uh, behind the motor mount actually is uh, kind of holding some water in there. We did the best to clean that out, but anyway, there's our exhaust system down there. How's this side of the exhaust feel? Be careful, this will be hot. Cold. Nice and cold. How about towards the middle? Nice and cold. Good. We have a laser thermometer, but it broke. And uh, I'm going to have to bring one tomorrow and run some official testing but i'm going to get off of this boat now so he can shower down on a little bit if you would just kenneth kenneth don't uh don't rev it too high just you know, don't blow the prop out but just you know put it under a good load all right go ahead well that thing is quiet I don't think I've ever heard one be that quiet. So we see a little steam coming out of the back, which is normal for the exhaust, but it's not excessive. That's the exhaust ventilating on the back. That shows the engine temperatures or operation, operating temperature. That thing is quiet. Got any lights? Any lights? Get it the last time? The last time when it was failing? How long did it take? Uh, about three to five minutes. Three to five minutes? Under this kind of load? Okay, so we're going to give it three to five minutes. I'm not going to record all this because it'll take forever to, to load. But it's really running well. And you see it now the, the steam is really, uh, if anything, not as much as it was a while ago. So that means we're really cooling the exhaust. So I'm really, really confident that we've got it resolved this time and basically it was the entire exhaust system plug the exhaust ports in the head plug everything related to exhaust cooling was plugged and potentially could have led or certainly would have led to engine failure and i hope uh, that it has many years left on it a little concerned about the silver one now since they came from the same place but if it starts to exhibit a problem, at least we know what we're up against and we don't have to spend so much time, uh, you know, exploratory surgery. We can just go right to it. So I'm going to guess that this is done. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm thinking about stopping the video, but maybe I won't. We 
got five minutes in on the video right now. So we're gonna go ahead and run it out to about uh, whenever Kenneth lets off. start seeing some steam or something I, I don't want you to burn yourself but can you put your hand close to the exhaust tell me how it feels I'm touching. you're touching it I'm, I've got my hand on the manifold on the actual manifold and it's cold I mean not cold but wow nice and cold nice and cool no kidding well that's great news that's great news. I'm glad to hear that. Certainly the jet ski owner is going to be glad to hear that. So, that's one for the books. These newer model machines, I mean, I know 2009 is, you know, seven years old, but these machines are just now starting to come in with these kind of failures. So, we're kind of laying ground here. Let me see. Put your hand back down there. Get his hand is directly on the exhaust manifold. Let me move this up. His hand is directly on it. And it's nice and cool. That's incredible. Maybe That's good. Maybe 80, 85 degrees. 80, 85. Uh, and we don't have a temperature going. Uh, that's wonderful. That's good news. That's great. Well, I'm glad we did this uh, yesterday and today. And we can take credit for it instead of Matthew. Huh? Damn right. Good job, Kenneth. Thanks for all the help. 